In this video, we are going to talk about two scientific discoveries that led to treatment for sickle cell disease in thalassemia. Biomed Global Institute is pleased to report that FDA also approves first gene therapy medicine for sickle cell disease in thalassemia. This press release came on December 8, 2023. I use the word also. The reason for this one is a news that appeared in Nature on 16 November 2023 that states UK first to approve CRISPR treatment for diseases. What you need to know, the landmark decision could transform the treatment of sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia, but the technology is expensive. This is what we are going to talk about two diseases, sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. Now, Medical News Today also reports that the Medicine and Health Regulatory Agency of the United Kingdom took the lead by approving the world first gene therapy that has potential to treat sickle cell disease and thalassemia. Remember when we are talking about gene therapy, that means either we are correcting a genetic disease with the right gene or we are putting a gene into human being that can be beneficial for a particular disease. Uh, in this genetic disease, red blood cell hemoglobin is deformed due to mutation. We are talking about sickle cell disease that result in limited delivery of oxygen to body tissues and patient suffering with sickle cell disease manifest severe pain and organ damage resulting in vasoocclusive crisis in sickle cell disease. People suffering from thalassemia have a deficiency of RBC and they need continued blood transfusion for their survival. So these are the differences, major differences between the sickle cell disease and thalassemia. Uh, talking more about what is sickle cell disease. So sickle cell disease is a genetic disorder. That means we inherit this from our parents. In this disease, hemoglobin, the protein that carries oxygen throughout human body has a defect. And this disease creates deformed red blood cells that hinders mobility of blood carrying them across the body. And the only treatment is if we can correct the genetic defect. Uh, and 25 million people across the world suffer with this disease. Here is the uh, normal uh, red blood cells. They are just like a Frisbee type. And uh, I mean, uh, once uh, somebody is having a sickle cell disease, what happens uh, I mean, in that, I mean, first let me share with you what happens at genetic level. At genetic level, we all know we inherit from our parents uh, DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. And uh, for a normal person, the person that will be having like a normal RBC that we are talking about, these one, uh, I mean, will be having an amino acid, glutamic acid in the hemoglobin and uh, when the person gets sickle cell disease there is a, just a single mutation over here in the dna remember dna is comprised of four alphabet a c g t uh, i mean this a is replaced by t and that t led to the production of valine i mean that produce a protein that has a valine and uh, what happened? Well, once there is a valine in the hemoglobin chain, it leads to sickle-shaped red blood cells. So you can see it. This is a normal red blood cells that is exactly like a fresh B type. And here is a sickle-shaped red blood cell that become like a croissant. So, I mean, in the capillaries, a normal red blood cells can easily cross through but if the patient is suffering with sickle cell disease has a mutation that in he, he or she has inherited from parents will lead to like i mean clumping of these cells and that is the reason you know 
I mean, their, I mean, this clumping lead to like, I mean, further, I mean, they don't supply the oxygen to all organs or all cells, and that lead to like, I mean, those events that result in pain and organ damage. So talking more about, I mean, uh, you can see it in this uh, video also, uh, normal red blood cells are uh, like little frisbee, as I mentioned to you, that can easily change their shape to move through capillaries. However, a sickle cell, as you can see it, these are the cells in the capillary. They are like a croissant type. Uh, the RBC becomes sickle. Uh, and they cannot cross through the capillaries. Now, I mean, we would like to talk about what is the major difference between sickle cell disease and thalassemia. So, I mean, if we talk at uh, molecular level, this hemoglobin protein has four chains, two alpha chains, two beta chains, and sickle cell disease mutation mainly occurs in the beta chain. I mean, these are the two chains at the bottom you see over here. Whereas in thalassemia, both chains, either alpha or beta, can be affected. And uh, what happened uh, in these, uh, like, I mean, the patient cannot make enough hemoglobin. I mean, I will talk a bit more about thalassemia also. Thalassemia is of two types, alpha thalassemia, beta thalassemia. In alpha, thalassemia, alpha hemoglobin has four genes that we get from our parents, two from mothers, two from father. As such, mutation can be in one, two, three, or all four genes, but inheriting all four genes from parents is like, I mean, the baby who is born has a very difficult time. I mean, that is too much problematic for, for his life. Whereas in beta thalassemia, uh, beta hemoglobin has two genes, one from each parent. As such, mutation can be in one or two. And if one gene is mutated, the patient, uh, the disease is known as thalassemia ma minor. And if both genes are mutated, we call that as thalassemia major. And inheriting two mutated genes, I mean, if the baby has both mutated genes, uh, he or she will manifest symptom after two years. Now comes to the uh, medicine, the technology. The first one is a cas uh, This is a gene editing medicine. What happens is exactly like you are correcting a sentence, a write-up, you are doing editing. I mean, through this technology, if there is a mistake that we identified over there, I have shown you in the sickle cell disease, uh, like this cas medicine utilizes CRISPR gene editing method to correct genetic disorder. There are two companies involved in the development of cas -GIVI. The first one is Vertex Pharmaceuticals and the other one is a CRISPR Therapeutics. And the treatment is 2.2 million. That is the concern as I showed you from the Nature article in which they mentioned the price is too high. Now, the next one is a Lefgenia. Lefgenia is a cell-based gene therapy, means you completely replace a complete or part of the genes. Over here, lentiviral vectors are used as gene delivery vehicle. I will be sharing with you in another video, these lentiviral vector has unique characteristic that they can go and get integrated into the uh, genomic material. In the company that has uh, uh, developed this product, that is Bluebird Bioincorporated, Bioinco and this is a viral vector-based gene therapy. While approving this one, uh, also has given a safety warning that patients should be monitored for cancer risk because these lentiviral vector has been shown to possess the characteristic oncogenic characteristics. That is the reason it has been mentioned over here. However, the company claim it has taken all meals for the, for like, I mean, to stopping the oncogenicity. Uh, the treatment by uh, Lefgenia, uh, I mean, it costs almost 3.1 million. It is higher than the cost uh, that Cascivi, uh, I mean, uh, Cascivi 
in product is. This price is higher than uh, the gas give you treatment. But CRISPR technology, you can see it over here. It's exactly like you cut a part of DNA and uh, like, I mean, exactly like editing if there is some mistake, you replace this world with a new one. I mean, uh, in this, I mean, uh, if we talk about CRISPR technology, this is a gene editing technology that has the capability to make changes in the genome of living organism. And uh, once the change has been done, I mean, if there is a genetic disease, somebody has inherited a gene that has a mistake, that genetic, genetic disorder is corrected and the person will be normal. What mentioning here is that this technology also got a Nobel Prize in 2020 to two of these scientists. Now, I mean, uh, you may also like to know that how the procedure is performed. Uh, I mean, it's a complex one. Uh, I mean, but however, it is worth if somebody is suffering with a disease for the lifetime and can be treated. I mean, uh, that is uh, ideal situation. I mean, but you have to go through a long procedure. What happened that blood stem cells undergo extraction and isolation before being transported for genetic modification. First, the patient blood stem cells, blood is isolated from their stem cells are isolated and they are given to the company for changing them, for making the genetic changes. Subsequently, patient undergo a brief period of chemotherapy to eliminate the existing cells, creating space for newly modified one. So what happened? Uh, I mean, the patient is given chemotherapy to get rid of all the defective cells or the cells which, which have a, like, I mean, a mutated gene. And following this one, the company new cells are uh, infused into the person that will be having the correct gene. And by that way, the disease can be, uh, like, I mean, cured. If we look on both these medicine, the Casgevy and Lefgenia, there are major challenges for this one. Of course, like, I mean, if we are talking about thalassemia, patient need a continuous blood supply. If we are talking about uh, sickle cell disease, the patient suffer with a lot more issues. However, what is needed in the days ahead there should be some effort for cost reduction and its availability to poor country or the developing country because both the sickle cell disease and thalassemia patients are across the world. The treatment has been approved for people who are above 12 years old. However, the disease, the people, uh, I mean, the children who are uh, two years old, uh, I mean, uh, they start manifesting sickle cell disease. And same goes with thalassemia. Uh, last but not least, thank you. I mean, uh, we close this video with a prayer that may your loved one be safe and healthy always. All the best.